I'm here with a great tip on how to bring beautiful flowers inside your house and leave the pests outside. Inside of each of these flowers growing outside are so many insects that are hiding inside. So if you're like me and a little bug squeamish, I'm going to teach you how you can cut your flowers and scare all those critters out so that you're not bringing them into your home. First step is to always remember to put on your gardening gloves. I'll tell you why. Because once you bring these flowers inside and you start seeing all the things that are crawling off of them, you don't want unnecessary bites. So put on your gardening gloves every single time. Just make it a habit so that you don't get bit by a weird spider or bee. Trust me. You don't want that or poison ivy anything just put on your gloves preferably a longer pair that comes up pretty good okay pretty high so i've got a couple of different flowers that we're going to experiment with today what i normally do is i have this stuff i've actually never even really used it on my dog um but i got it just in case it's called um easy defense flea and tick spray. My biggest concern is that some of this stuff is growing really close to the ground. And I always think, what if there's ticks on it? And then I'm bringing it inside of the house. So sometimes if the flower is not too delicate, I will take this and I will just spray it. And when you do that, spray all parts of it really lightly, not too much, or it can burn it. Um, and like I said, this is for dogs, but if you look close, just by spraying that and whatever is in this, um, it's that geran oil and peppermint oil, things like that, um, you'll start to see little critters come out. Usually they're tiny little spiders. So that's the first thing. So you can spray it really lightly. The second thing you can do that I've actually never done, I'm gonna try it out and tell you how it works, is I have a little cup with maybe two drops of dawn dish soap and some warm water and i'm going to just stick it inside of the bowl and then see what i have inside see just just keeping them here and giving them a little bounce i'm already seeing spiders crawling all over so it's like why do you want those in your house you really don't so give it a little thing shake it off really gently And let's see, let me see if I can look in here and see if we've got anything floating around here. Yes, there are bugs. There are bugs that came off. I see gnats, I see spiders. That's awesome. This definitely works. So, um, and we'll see if it changes the color of the flower because sometimes when you use this, if you spray it too hardly, it can kind of like put little burn marks around the edges. So I'm gonna give it another little dip, a little tap, be real gentle, and we're gonna put it off to the side. I think just for fun, I'm gonna put this one in too. And see, oh God, there are spiders galore on this thing. Oh my gosh, you guys are never gonna be able to, see. maybe you can see that. Do you see that? Big spiders. This is the, this is it. If it doesn't change the color of these flowers, this is amazing. Okay, tap, tap, tap. On to the next one, a sunflower. Obviously, if you've got a big flower, I've got one on me. Oh, ew. Um, you might need a bigger bowl, but let's just go for it. <gasps> Guys, no. I really hope that this works, you guys, because this is incredible. Shake, 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 tap, tap, tap. Yep, yep, definitely more. Oh, there's another spider. You guys, this is working so good, but I don't know if it's gonna like kill the flower. Okay, we'll see. That's that one. Let's do another zinnia. Oh. This is it. 
I can't wait to see if this actually doesn't kill the flowers. This is incredible. Last one. And I'm gonna show you what's in the bowl. If you don't care about bugs and you don't need to do this, but I am not a big fan, just not a big fan. And I don't like spraying my flowers because it will keep the pollinators away. So yay, you guys, I think this is gonna work. Beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna show you what's in the bowl. Guys, total success. I feel a hundred times better about bringing these into my home. Let's go get them in some Don't water. Don't forget also to strip off all of the leaves off of your flowers because pests love hiding in those as well. And you will find those creepy see-through green spiders <laughs> hiding out very frequently on the leaves. So I just strip the leaves as much as I can. And you know what, if you had a whole bucket of soapy water, I just wonder if you could soak the whole thing. But I just come in here and I spray the stems with my um, flea and tick spray. And there you have so it. So there you go. You've got hopefully some critter free flowers to enjoy and bring in. And you don't have to be afraid that too many creepy crawlies are going to crawl out.